Darlings, it's Mummy, Sybil Brunchen, coming to you live from Boston, uh, down by the harbor. I'm at the Residence Inn, uh, the Marriott Residence Inn, down on Congress Street. And I know that, um, first of all, it's a Residence Inn, so it has a kitchen. It, look at this. This is kind of nice. Look at this, Burners. It's kind of wonderful. It's, they're more like little apartmentettes uh, than hotel rooms, um, but it's quite sweet. And the reason I'm showing it to you is because you know how I am about, I mean, I've taken you on tourettes everywhere, 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 all over the country. Look at this bathroom. This is the funniest thing about hotels now. A hotel, I mean, not that this is one of them. Hotels could be dives, but they're all expen they're spending a fortune on two things. State-of-the-art bathrooms, right? walk-in showers, uh, marble detailing or, uh, you know, glass detail, whatever. They're, they're making their bathrooms priceless. Then they do things like they put the sink outside. So this is kind of intriguing. So they've got the sink uh, with a huge marble counter, granite counter, and it's, it's very sweet and very nice in the bedroom. But then they also have the bathroom separate. And sometimes they even have the water closet separate from the shower and bath. And sometimes they have a shower stall and a bathtub and a toilet in a different room and and a sink. It's like, okay. But the, what, back to what I was saying was, um, oh, the, I'm getting off on tangents here. Uh, two, two things that hotels, even rotten hotels, will spend money on are state-of-the-art bathrooms and state-of-the-art mattresses uh, and box springs. They're just making the beds and the linens incredible. The floor could be falling in, the ceiling could be caving in, but the bed will be gorgeous and the bathroom will be spectacular. Having said that, this Marriott uh, residence in is not that. It is a lovely, lovely hotel down here by the water. I can't recommend it enough. But back to my original. <laughs> Stick with me, folks. Stick with me here. Um, back to my original premise. I wanted to show you this hotel because you know how I am about repurposing architecture and 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 saving heritage. And Boston, I mean, has well, it's letting too much of its heritage disappear, but it is trying. It is trying. Look at this. This is an old factory building. I said old factory, not all factory. Um, <laughs> Uh, it's old factory building, and they've re look at these. These bricks were laid like 150 years ago. That's what they've done. And look outside. See, ooh, the windows are rather soiled, aren't they? Well, that's not very flattering. But I mean, you could see that. I mean, can't you just feel the child labor laws everywhere around here? I mean, if this isn't Boston's answer to Sweeney Todd, I don't know what is. Look at this. This has been turned into luxury condos. And then look at that. Look at the duplex. Um, penthouse up on the top there it's extraordinary beautiful plantings and decks and well some air conditioning duct stuff which isn't so pretty but um you can see where i am in boston from that uh quite lovely quite lovely apartments across the way are absolutely spectacular but look at this they repurposed all of this. So they there's the original window arches, and then they put in these beautiful windows, and they redid the ceilings, all the original floors and beams. And um, it's really, really, really quite beautiful. I'm very impressed with it. Um, and I'm going to walk outside with you and show you exactly what this building was. This is what's really amazing. Look at this. So here, look, there's original beams and wooden things but look at this this is where you can really see what this building was look how beautiful so they put these uh, skylights over it and there's the original and look it's not brick it's tile look at the exterior of the building it's all shiny tile it's wonderful let's walk around here look look at the elevator works are all exposed isn't that amazing? And here's the walkway so that you could go from one side to the other without um, having to go all the way around. It's just one, and look. Oh, Mummy's got a little bit of vertigo there. I mean, this is all the original building, and they've, they've done it quite charmingly, I think. Yes, it's a little bit of a cross between Sweeney Todd and West Side Story, isn't it? <laughs> Well, you're a jet, you're a jet all the way. Well, at least until Mrs. Lovett turns you into a meat pie. All right, well, anyway, darling, that's my trip to Boston. Um, it's not my trip to Boston, but I'm I'm in Boston. That's what's going to happen. Oh, look, they've got some spotlights here, some little Klieg lighty things to light up the skylight tonight when the sun is set. All right, I'm going to walk around Boston. I'm going to take you around Boston um, today and tomorrow. It's November 1st, the day after Halloween. Uh, I wish we had been here for Halloween. That would have been quite fun. Anyway, 
I hope your Halloween was great, and I shall talk to you all later. A tutelar, darlings.